Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new Waveform Quad Pro antenna, and we're going to be comparing that directly to the original Waveform 4x4 MIMO antenna and seeing if there's any kind of differences with the brand new one. Now, Waveform was nice enough to send this over to us for review, so I want to take the time to thank them for doing that. And this is going to be by no means an installation video, but we will take a look at what you get in the kit, and then we're going to directly compare that by metrics and speed test to the original antenna. So without further ado, let's take a look at what you get in the kit for the new Waveform Quad Pro antenna. Now Waveform does allow you to customize the kit to your needs, but in the kit that I received, I got the main antenna, I got a J-pole with the mounting bracket, as well as the new flex mount, and then the new window entry cable. Now on top of that in the kit, you're also going to get the required mounting hardware for the bracket to bolt that to your house, and that looks like this. And then you're also going to get some U.FL pigtail adapters that can be required depending on the modem that you have and the company that it's from. And you're also going to get the J-Pole mounting hardware you see here, as well as a bag of tools. Now this is going to have some wrenches in it with a socket on one side. Now you may need a drill and some drill bits as well as an actual socket set that would make installation go a lot easier for you. And then the last thing in the kit, you get 10 feet of SMA male to SMA female cable. And that looks like this. Now, one thing that's different between the new Quad Pro and the original 4x4 MIMO is the original one had these stickers across the bottom, and that listed the port number. The old one also used an end port, specifically a male barrel plug, and it was not waterproof. So you'd see we had to silicone tape them to keep the water out. Now, what's really nice about the new one is the redesign on the Quad Pro doesn't have these stickers that you see. They're gone. And that's because they've relocated where the stickers were here across the bottom to the actual cable itself. So now it says antenna 1 through 4 printed on the actual cable. And we've switched over from an N port to an actual SMA port, which is a lot smaller. And it's just a lot nicer quality antenna, in my opinion. One other thing they changed is we no longer have the need for silicone tape because they've added these nice grommets or boots to the cable. And after you make all of your connections, you just slide this down over the actual uh, SMA connection and it's waterproof and you're good to go. Talking about waterproofing, you'll see here the 4x4 MIMO, the original one on the right, has a metal back and it was sealed with just this silicone gasket that went around the, the metal back. Now the new Quad Pro antenna has been completely redesigned and it's two pieces of plastic and I'm assuming that there's a gasket in between those two pieces. Overall the redesign does seem like a lot nicer quality build. Now moving on to the new Flex Pro mount that you see here. This has been completely redesigned from the ground up. And if we remember, the original 4x4 MIMO antenna used a metal bracket that looked like this. It was very hard to make adjustments, especially after the antenna has been installed. Waveform resolved a lot of these issues with this new flex mount system. So you just need to loosen an Allen head screw, and then it will allow the bracket to actually pivot right or left. And there are actually notches with different degrees and markings on the actual bracket itself. So once you dial it into where you need it, you just tighten that screw back up and you're locked in position and good to go. Now they also added another pivot point here and it's the exact same thing. So we have the same markings for degrees and you just loosen the screw and then that will allow the antenna to also um, move up and down as well as side to side. And it's the exact same concept here, so all you need to do is tighten that up to lock it into place and you should be good to go. Now one thing they did do, because this is a plastic bracket as opposed to a metal one on the original 4x4 MIMO uh, with a metal backing as well, is they included a ground wire. And uh, you just go ahead and put that on the closest bolt hole and run the bolt through it and tighten it down and you should be good to go there. One thing to take note of is the hardware on the new antenna is a lot beefier than the hardware on the old antenna. The new one is using a 17 millimeter nut on the U bracket, whereas the original antenna is using a 10 millimeter nut on the U bracket. Taking a look at the new window entry cable, you will see here that it is very flexible and it is comprised of two different boxes. The larger box is gonna go outside your window while the smaller box will be inside your home. It has double-sided sticky tape on the back of each of these boxes to help secure it down. 
And then it does have SMA connectors on each end. So one end has SMA male while the other end has SMA female. You can also open these boxes up. So these covers here, they just pop off and then that will allow you to use um, some mounting screws to go ahead and anchor this down on top of using the double sided sticky tape if you'd like to and they just pop off and then pop back on. Now Waveform designed this mount to work with many different window types. And so for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the bedroom window that's next to my antenna. So all you need to do is just open the window and then you're gonna put the biggest side of the window entry cable outside. That's gonna be what connects to your antenna. And then the smaller box is gonna be what's inside your window. So you just need to place it in the window seal and then close the window and make sure that it's nice and snug and then from there you'll be able to go ahead and take that double-sided sticky tape off of the back of the boxes and then if you choose to you can also use some mounting hardware and then stick that down to secure it now this is a directional antenna so you do want to make sure that when you're mounting this on your house that you do pick a place that has the least obstructions to your cell phone tower and that you're getting the best metrics now I recommend using the app that comes with whatever service provider you're using or if you're able to log into your modem if you're using a third party one just so that you can view those metrics real time while you set this up. Now we're going to jump over and take a look at the metrics of the original 4x4 MIMO antenna and directly compare that to when I switched over to using the new Quad Pro antenna. And we're also going to throw in some speed tests just to see if there's any kind of differences there as well. So we're going to start off looking at the original waveform 4x4 MIMO antenna. And the metrics that I got with that are all actually really good if you look at this chart here on the right. So my signal power, my signal quality, and my signal to noise ratio are all looking really good. But I want to see if we can do a little bit better with the new Quad Pro, especially with that new flex mount system, see if we can get it dialed in just a little bit better. But first, let's run a speed test really quick and just see where we're at from a numbers perspective based on the current metrics that you see here on the screen. Now, as we run this, keep in mind that everybody in my house is actually using my internet right now. So there is a load on my system. But despite that, it looks like we're getting a ping of 44 milliseconds. And then our download speed came in at 135 megabits per second down. Now for our upload speed, we got an upload of 22.7 megabits per second. So now let's take a look and see what we got for our metrics on our Quad Pro and then take a look at a speed test from that as well. Taking a look at the metrics on the new Quad Pro, you will see that our signal power actually did better and worse as well as signal to noise ratio those also did better and worse depending on the actual antenna but our signal quality stayed the exact same regardless of whether it was the original 4x4 MIMO or the new quad pro now I suspect it has something to do with the new flex mount because I did change the position of my antenna compared to the 4x4 MIMO but I'm interested to see what the speed test shows Running the speed test on the Quad Pro gave us a ping of 28 milliseconds and a download speed of 224 megabits per second, as well as an upload speed of 165 megabits per second. Now I owe this all to the new flex mount system that they have on this antenna because I was able to dial this in a lot better than I did on the original 4x4 MIMO and I really think that's why we see better results here because my internet was under load so my entire family was using this while I was doing my testing and unfortunately you cannot put the new flex mount on the original 4x4 MIMO antenna because the actual bolts or studs that are built into the back of the antenna are too short. I really hope this video helped you decide whether or not you'd like to pick up the new Quad Pro antenna from Waveform. Now, if you have the original 4x4 MIMO like I did and it's working really well for you, then it might not be necessary for you to upgrade. But if you do upgrade, you do get that new flex mount system for the new antenna. And for me personally, that really helped me dial it in a lot better than the mounting system that came with the original 4x4 MIMO antenna. I was able to get better metrics and I also was able to get a little bit better speeds, especially on my upload. 
Now, if you don't have an antenna or maybe you're using a quad mini and you want to put something outside that works a little bit better, has more power, then definitely this would probably be a good upgrade for you guys. Now, if you have any questions about the antenna itself, feel free to hit me up down in the comments and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. But that's about all I have for this one. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.